here, friends. We're going to draw a stocking. Yeah, we're going to draw stockings hung on a fireplace. It's going to be a lot of fun, and we hope you're going to follow along with us. What are we going to use for this lesson? A marker. Yeah, we're going to draw with markers. And we also have some marker paper to draw on. And at the end, we're going to color with our Art for Kids Hub markers. Yes. Yeah, our very own markers. Yes. If you don't have these, that's okay. You can use whatever you have at home or in the classroom. You can draw with pencils or crayons. You can even draw with different kinds of markers. Yeah. Yeah. You ready to start? Yeah. We're using Canson brand marker paper. I love this brand, but any any brand will work just fine. And the reason why I love using marker paper is that it makes our markers last longer so they don't run out quick. Let's start by drawing a line that we're gonna hang our stockings from. I'm gonna draw it about this big and we're drawing it towards the top of our paper. So I'll give you some points. We'll straighten up your paper and then we're gonna draw it right about here. I'm gonna give you a point there and also a point there. And you could start over here since you're left-handed and then draw that way. Yes. Good job. Okay, now let's hang our stockings. We're gonna draw the first stocking right in the middle of this line. So we're gonna put a little point in the middle. That's where we're gonna start. There you go. And then we're gonna draw a short diagonal line that comes down. Yes. And then we're gonna draw a short line this way. And then we're gonna connect. We're gonna draw another line up this way, but not connect yet. So we'll draw it right about there. Yes, and then we're gonna connect in here. So we're gonna connect to there. Good job. Okay, now let's draw the foot part of our stocking. We're gonna draw a short line this way. So we'll start here and draw right to there. Yes, and then we're gonna draw a curving down. So we could draw a little line coming this way. And then we're gonna draw the rest of the stocking curving like this around and then into here. Oh yeah, I love how big your stocking. And then we're gonna come up to there. That's an awesome stocking. <laughs> I love your stocking so much. And I especially love that our two stockings don't look exactly the same. They're both awesome. That's because the most important thing is- Have fun and practice. Yes, remember to have fun and practice. It's okay if your stockings look different too. Okay, should we keep going? Yeah. All right. Now we're gonna repeat that same step two more times, one on each side, but I think we should extend the line out to the left a little further. So let's go out to there. So we have more room for the stockings. Then we're gonna come out to here and draw this line out a little further too. Okay, now let's draw the other stockings. We're gonna start by drawing that rectangle shape again. So we'll start here and we'll draw a diagonal line that matches. So see that line? We're gonna match that over here to there. And then we're gonna draw this rectangle shape like that. So we're gonna draw another short line to there. Then we're gonna come up to here and then connect into there. Okay, let me finish my stocking too. We're gonna do that same shape on my side. And then we're gonna draw this part next. How old are you, Olivia? Six. Six, you're doing such a great job. We're gonna start here and then we're gonna draw a line to there and then a short one down to there. Yes, and then I'm gonna do that short one. And then we're gonna draw the curve that finishes the stocking into the other side. <laughs> yeah, good job. Okay, now we're gonna draw another stocking here. So let's draw, we're gonna repeat that same rectangle shape. So let's do it right here. We'll draw it right to there. I'm gonna do that same thing. And then a short line this way. Now we can draw another one. Yep, and then we're gonna draw it back up and connect in. Then let's draw the rest of the stocking coming down this way. So we're gonna draw right to here. And then a short one this way. And then we're gonna draw a curve that comes around and connects in. Yes, yeah, so we'll come here, curve around and connect to there. We did it. Stockings are kind of tricky to draw and you did such a great job. How many do we have? Three. Three, yeah, and you could add as many as you want. You could draw them smaller and add more. You could add as many people are, that are in your family. And we have how many in our family? Six. Yeah, six. So that would take us a long time to add six, but <laughs> we'll just keep it three. Yeah. <laughs> you could even just leave it at one to keep the lesson a little easier. But let's keep going. We're gonna draw the mantle. This is the part that our stockings are hung from. So we're gonna draw a short line up and then we'll draw a short line that matches on this side. 
Good job. Then we're gonna connect these together. I'm gonna draw a straight line across all the way to the other side. And you could start on either side if you want. There you go. Good job. Now let's draw the fireplace. We're gonna draw a line that comes down. Oh, we're gonna draw it really far. We're gonna start there and come down to, yeah, right there. That's a good spot. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. We'll come down and match. So it comes down to the same right there. That's a good spot. Now let's connect the bottom together like that. So connect from one side over to the other side. And then we need to draw our fireplace. We're gonna draw a big rainbow line or upside down U. I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna come up like this almost all the way and touch, almost touch the stocking. You could start right here and then almost touch the stocking, come all the way up here around and then back down. Yeah. And then let's do another one right next to it inside. So we're going to match that same shape. Oh, you're doing such a good job. And this is a really tricky lesson. Then we're going to draw the log on the fire. We're going to draw a short line that comes up like this. So inside we're going to draw, there you go. And then another one over here on this side. And then we're going to draw a straight line across. And then we're going to draw the fire. So let's draw a curve that comes out from here and curves up. Yes. And then we're going to draw a curve on the other side. And then we're going to draw the curve coming this way. Yep. And a curve going this way. And then we're going to draw on this side. Let's draw a curve that comes up really high. So we're going to come to way up here and then curve around up at the top. And then we can draw another curve that comes down like that. Oh, love your fire. It's super cool. Now let's draw decorations on top of our chimney or our fireplace. We're going to draw zigzag lines. We'll start here and we're going to draw zigzag lines that come across all the way over to the other side. Kind of looks like grass, huh? Yeah. I'll help hold your paper. Oh, love it. All the way over. You did it. Now let's draw a bow right here. We're going to draw a short upside down U in the middle. There you go. And connect it. And then let's draw a diagonal line that comes out to the left. And then also out to the right. And then we're going to connect down on both sides. Yes. And then let's draw the bow part coming down. We're going to draw an upside down V right in the middle. There you go. And then a short line out on each side. And then we're going to connect the outside of that short line up to the bow. And the same thing on the other side. Let's add a candle too. Let's draw an upside down U shape, but it's also square. It's not round. So we'll go up, over and down. And then let's draw a little wick on the top. Boop, boop. And <laughs> we can draw a little fire on top, we're going to draw a raindrop shape. We did it, Olivia. We finished drawing our fireplaces with our stockings, but we're not completely done. We, we still need to color it. Yeah, we still need to color it. Let's pick out the colors we're going to use. We have our colors all picked out and we're using our Art for Kids hub markers. But if you don't have the same set, that's OK. You can use whatever you have at home like crayons or color pencils. Now this first color we're using is number two if you have the same set, but we're if you don't, we're using a dark red color, almost a brown color. And we're gonna use this to color in the bricks behind all of the stockings. Now this might take us a little while, so this part we're going to fast forward, but remember you can pause the video and take extra time to color in your drawings. You ready to fast forward? Yeah! <laughs> Sound like Jack. <laughs> you did sound like Jack. That took us a little while to color, but now we're ready for the next part. We're going to switch to 103. This is a brown color that we're going to use to color the mantle. So we're going to fast forward again, but we're going to just color this solid and then we'll move on to the next part. Now we're switching to our green color number 46 and we're going to color in the decorations on top of the mantle. Let's switch back to our brown color 103 and let's color the border that goes around the opening for our fire. 
Let's also color the log that is inside of the fire. Now we're switching to our yellow number 35 to color in the flames on our fire. And when we're coloring with our lighter colors like this yellow, try to color around the Sharpie because it blends with the black. But it's okay if you do, it just makes it look like it's shaded, which yeah. is cool too. Mm -hmm. And then we also need to color the fire on top of our candle. There we go. Now we're using our orange, number 23, and we're gonna create a border around the outside of the fire. We're just gonna trace around the outside all the way to the other side of the fire. Now let's use our red number 15 and we're gonna color in this bow right in the middle. And we're also gonna color in the candle. Also remember that you can color your drawings any way you want. You don't have to use the same colors either. You can change the colors to be, maybe this is a pink bow or a purple bow. Oh, let's also color in the candle. But you could change the color of the candle. You could also take time to design each of your stockings differently. Yeah. You could also add more candles. Oh, I might need to add more candles. You could also add bricks to your fireplace. Yeah. You could even maybe even add a puppy down here that's sleeping next to the fire. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. Now we're switching to 92, which is a really dark brown, and we're gonna color around our fire inside of the fireplace. I use the same color, 92, the dark brown, to add brick lines inside of the fireplace shape to add more texture. But you can leave that off to keep the lesson a little easier. Okay, now we save the best part for last. We need to decorate our stockings. You can change your stockings any way you want. Are you gonna use different colors than me? Yeah. Good. All right, this part we're going to fast forward again. So remember to pause the video and take time to color your stockings. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. We did it! We finished drawing and coloring our stockings hung by the fireplace. And I love how yours turned out. That was a lot of coloring. Did you have fun? Yeah. I especially love the design that you added to your stockings and the cool colors that you changed. I also added extra candles and we used a white colored pencil, our Prismacolor colored pencil, to add little highlights on the decorations on top of the fireplace, and I also added a little highlight on the toes on the stockings. <laughs> I even added this little base for the fireplace, but you can leave all of that off to keep the lesson a little easier. You could also add even more decorations. You could add lots of candles. You could even add a Christmas tree on the side. You could have half of it off the page. You could add chimney goes up and a mouse right there. Oh, that would be really cute. Yeah, the chimney, you could finish it going all the way up. Oh, and a little mouse would be super cute. Maybe it has a little present, too. <laughs> yeah. We hope you have fun drawing the stockings. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we hope you take time to color your drawings and add extra things. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.